Justice Commission, now we are talking about the challenges of our Dutch presidency. What, to your opinion, is the biggest challenge that uh, this presidency will face? Well, the biggest challenge is actually to uh, put Europe uh, back in a path that uh, will give the European citizens the feeling that indeed Europe serves them and uh, protects them. Uh, and, and of course, uh, a big challenge is to protect Europeans uh, against terrorism, and that is not something that can only be achieved in Europe. It requires a foreign policy that is consistent, that at, aims at uh, conflict solving. Uh, I was disturbed, for instance, that uh, recently when we discussed with the Foreign Minister of uh, the Netherlands, no word was uttered about Libya. Libya is the main source of trouble uh, these days and in the future, uh, which has not been uh, in any way addressed by the EU. Uh, in parallel, and uh, of course with links with uh, the current war in Syria. Uh, but, uh, of course, this is also linked with uh, the policy towards refugees. It is not possible to actually reinforce those in Europe who are trying to fuel fear and xenophobic perceptions and uh, make Europe uh, not respect its fundamental values. The Convention for the Refugees of the United Nations was made for Europeans because of Europeans. We cannot forget that. We need to uh, protect those who are seeking for support, protection in Europe. They are fleeing from the same terrorist uh, uh, threats that we are also facing in Europe. We cannot play into the ends of the terrorists by not protecting the people who are demanding from us protection in this moment. Sorry, but what about Schengen? Uh, because now many people say that Schengen is really in danger. Well, uh, President Juncker uh, acknowledged it these days here in the parliament today. Uh, and he actually pointed out to the cost of non-Schengen that the European governments who are one by after the other uh, closing borders on this uh, uh, stupid and illusory uh, illusion that indeed by closing borders they are indeed ensuring security and deterring refugees to coming uh, from coming into Europe then they will have to face the cost of uh, non Schengen and that cost is indeed a major European and national cost uh, on uh, uh, the destruction of the internal market, the destruction of the basic freedom of circulation of people. Uh, that is a tremendous cost that will only aggravate the economic troubles in Europe. And uh, Mr. Juncker has been alerting to that. And I should say that not only this will have this economic tremendous cost with all the implications, including in the security field, but actually this will not serve the security of the European citizens. The only security is by indeed abiding by our values and principles, long-term perspective, and that requires extending protection to those in need who are seeking protection in Europe, the refugees, and of course, having a foreign policy that will address the root causes why these people are coming into Europe for, for protection. And that requires indeed working again. Sorry, about, about values, because you touched a very important subject. Are how you explain uh, the changes in Poland, because many compare Poland to Hungary. Uh, how can you explain the growth of anti-European moods? I think that if the European Commission would have acted, as many of us here in the European Parliament have asked, uh, against Hungary when the first uh, out measures were uh, uh, enacted by the, the, the government of Hungary against its own citizens by changing the basic uh, elements of the rule of law in Hungary, and then against refugees, maybe we wouldn't have had a behavior of other governments that is extremely troublesome, like the one we see now in Poland, but as well like the one you see, for instance, in a country with 
uh, with the, 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 the democratic uh, and even asylum traditions of, of, of Denmark. Uh, had the Commission indeed been bold and acted to prevent Hungary under Orban to move in the way they moved against European principles and values and the rule of law, maybe we would not be witnessing this cascade of, uh, of attacks against our values and principles, as we see now in Poland. 